Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And today is our weekly update for our indoor grow with me's. And I just wanted to show you what the progress looks like and talk about a little bit about what's going on. So from last week, I have recently added some, basically just paper color. It's a nice little colored sheet of paper that I simply folded up over the jar and slipped over. This way prevents the lights from penetrating down, getting into the jar and keeps the roots nice and healthy. For example, let me just pick up this lettuce. Look at these nice healthy white roots on the bottom. And that's exactly what you want. Nice healthy roots. And we will have a nice beautiful plant up top. Keep the roots happy, it'll be, keep that plant happy. So let's basically start over here on the right. We got some beautiful kale growing. And if you look from last week, it's had a ton of progress. This is actually the point where you could uh, you could eat some of these leaves. I could pretty much take three of these right here. And the one in the back is even larger. The leaves are probably twice the size. And that's always gonna be the case with planting. You're gonna have one plant that does better than others. As you see, they were all planted at the same time, but these two are nice and big and this one's lacking a little bit. It could be due to the fact that it, this is actually right outside of the greenhouse almost so the air, the temperature is not as controlled over here being that I always keep the the greenhouse open so it's probably hotter on the inside back there and a little bit cooler up front but that's perfectly fine it's right under the lights and doing quite well and the arugula is doing very good also at the point where you could harvest some leaves and eat these beautiful green leaves now arugula is quite bitter if you eat it by yourself so I would always mix it into the salad and then it's quite delicious when you eat it alone I don't know some people like it, it I find it quite bitter but I really enjoy it mixed throughout and the mixed salad is doing amazing I think this one in particular is looking so beautiful and as well as the ones in the well, actually all, all three of them are looking really good this must be like one of the best lettuce heads that I've been growing recently right over here and it's doing so well like the leaf structure is doing great it's nice and compact and it's doing really well same thing you could eat these green these greens right now but I'm gonna let this entire garden keep growing so we could monitor and watch the progress week by week and see how everything develops and grows and the Swiss shard is looking really good this one's leaning over a tiny bit because I came in here by mistake when I was moving my arm in and I accidentally pushed it down. Whoopsies. But that's perfectly fine. Give it a, little, a few hours and the, the leaves will come right back up to the light, stretch back up. And if you remember, the cocoa core had a tiny bit of mold around that's basically almost completely gone now. And it's getting nice and dry. However, the roots are staying nice and moist. And if you remember what I mentioned about Swiss chard, the roots actually take on the color of the plant. So as you see, yellow plant, yellow roots. Quite interesting, I think. I find that very entertaining with the Swiss chard. Same thing, the red one's going to be red. Greens, green ones are green. And yeah, that's pretty much what's going on right now. The Swiss chard has actually finally put on its first sets of true leaves. So this is the point where I like to come in and give it half strength nutrients. So I'm going to do that later tonight. I'm going to change out the water in here, clean out the jars, give it a nice good rinse. You always want to wash out your jars before adding new nutrients. So I'm going to simply come in and just give it as usual. I'll give it half strength. So I'm pretty much just going to one gallon. I'm going to mix in one gram of master blend, one gram calcium nitrate and one gram of Epsom, I'm sorry, I meant to say half a gram of Epsom salt. So that's one, one point five. And yeah, and these plants are growing very good and I couldn't be happier with the progress. And as always, I hope for those of you who are growing with me, your garden looks as good, if not better. And if you have any questions or suggestions, as always, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer everything. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.